Let's go over new details of the upcoming Star Wars The Last Jedi trailer. This is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars videos. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, it is greatly appreciated. Now today we are going over new details of the upcoming trailer, which is due for at least at some point in time this month, and if not this month, at some point in time this summer, thankfully. I know the Han Solo film really shifted the schedules around drastically, so we're pretty much left in the dark as to exactly when this is coming out, but rest assured, we're going to get it very, very soon. But in the meantime, let's go over the new details that we do have for this trailer, which can be found below in the description. Go ahead and check it out. But in the meantime, I will be reading the tidbits of information that we do have for today. So to start things off here, there is an extended shot of Luke inside of the tree. Luke's hand turning one of the pages in the old Jedi books. Also an extended shot from the first teaser. The orbs floating around Rey's head inside of what appears to be a cave glow in a bluish tint. Distant shot of the Falcon taking off of Ahch 2 preparing for battle. A wide shot of the island, similar to the first teaser except with a giant rain cloud in the background with lightning. And that's all we have for the shot descriptions today. I do want to really analyze some of these shot descriptions and it seems like yes we have been going over the trailer for quite some time it seems like disney and lucasfilm are really using the technique of extending shots from the first teaser trailer and implanting it into the second teaser trailer and i think that is a really great way to bring out a trailer is to have these very similar shots that we have seen before and to extend them and to make them feel completely new. We get to see more of that story. To me, each shot is like a little micro story and when we get like an extended shot, we learn more about that shot. So that's really cool that they're doing that whole entire format in the second teaser. Now I wanna go over the last shot and this is something that I have been waiting for for a very long time. We do know that there is going to be a major rain scene in The Last Jedi. Now in the first teaser we got the island with a sunset in the background. This one seems to be going more dark where we're gonna get this wide shot of the island which by the way in reality it's called Great Skullig Michael. We're going to have this big rain cloud in the background with lightning. And this really does fit into that image that we saw of Luke Skywalker at Star Wars Celebration where he has the raincoat on, his hair looks damp, and it just looks so dramatic. It looks amazing. Now the other shot that I want to go over is the orbs. We have heard about this before many months ago, I believe it was in April, the sizzle reel that the reporters got to go ahead and see in a private little thing there. They got to see a shot of Rey inside of a cave with these orbs around her head. And a lot of people, including myself, have been speculating, what could those orbs be? I think it's the formation of Yoda, to be quite honest with you. So it says here that they are going to glow in a bluish tint. Now, to me, that sounds like it could very well be a force ghost because those force ghosts, they have a bluish tint to them, am I not, right? I mean, if I had to take a big guess here, it has to be Yoda. I really can't think of anything else unless it's something completely new. But remember, in the Clone Wars, I believe it was, we did see those orbs and Yoda was involved. It was on Dagobah. And we also saw these orbs in, I think it was, Star Wars Rebels, where Yoda guides Ezra out of the Jedi Temple, and you see the orbs. So I think it's Yoda. The last shot description that I do want to go over is the Luke, the Luke hand shot of turning one of the pages in the old Jedi book. We saw the old Jedi book in the first teaser, except it was just Luke's hand, and by the way, it is Luke's hand, touching the top of the book. So in this teaser, we're going to see him probably open the book and turn a page. And I think that scene is Luke telling Rey what's in the book. I think he's reading it to her, and it very well could fit with that line of dialogue. It says, it's time for the Jedi to end. 
after learning more and more about that book. And as you can see there, it seems like, yes, this is once again another extended shot of the first teaser. It seems like the first teaser and the second teaser are going to be connected quite well. So guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.